Hello everybody, Reaper X1 here again, back hard at work on my little new Tekka community build project I got started here. And this little stage of the game is the arrival, or I guess the arrival gate to the the space station, or launching station to New Tekka. So I've got this set up in a creative save, and I'm calling it New Tekka or Bust. It goes along with the space shuttle I originally want to use for this. So as we get into this, you know, I'm going to thank you for joining it, joining me. Welcome. Glad you let me join you, kind of thing. And hopefully we can have some fun here and get a little more of this uh, built up and ready for uh, new citizens. Because this is going to be part of the process as new citizens come to New Tekka. It's all for the security measures. So I figure, you know, anyone might slip by the first gate. As long as they can do the requirements, you know, they can slide right on through, no issues. So this is where the security really starts to get bumped up so we don't have none of the riffraff coming in. We want decent citizens. We don't want them treacherous kind of types. We're looking to have fun, not war. So all, all the, well, you know, wars can be fun. So, you know, maybe we'll have this as a malfunction once in a while, let some riffraff in here and there, just so we get some excitement. We'll see how it goes. Now, I just kind of go with the story in that, eh? and there's a couple ideas that I wanted to try out, and I thought this was a good way to test them out, because I'm starting to really enjoy this resource, no physics to anchor text thing. I could see it being quite useful. <laughs> As you can see, I've been setting up a, a nice little, uh, what was I calling it, a gondola idea to transport the new citizens over to the shuttle after they teleport to here. And I don't know, it doesn't really seem to make too much sense why they teleport and then have a shuttle. But I got a little bit of a story in mind for that too. So when it all comes down to that, and we'll, I'm going to really hopefully get the details of the story or the lore behind all this figured out a little better. But got to get everything figured out and built up. And first, we got to trap a resource in there so it stays centered, stays at the highest point possible, and is very thin at the top of this tech. So there's very little space taken up in between this and the conveyor that's going to be overhead. Because as you might have seen in the last tests, it, it can get pretty hairy. Things can go weird very quickly with this idea. So I figured something like that might be just done day. But as I'm getting into this one, you know, I kind of forget to do some stuff. Mention some things like, you know, that solar showcase. You know, where your cool and original text could have a video of their very own. And all you got to do is take your in-game snapshots or save games or both. Whatever works best, depending on what you've built. To go down to my Saturday Showcase Auditions link. Follow it on through to the thread that I've created. And then from there, post your, your saves and snapshots or whatever ones, you know. And from there, I'll make the best dang video out of it I can. And if you happen to be having troubles finding those snapshots that you've taken through the game, they have to be the in-game snapshots, not screenshots. All you have to do is go open up Steam, right-click on the game in your games list. It's in the library on the left. Then click Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and that'll take you right to where the snapshots folder is. And then from there, just copy and paste each or every one. Don't edit the snapshots, though, in any way. They won't work after that. So leave them unedited, set post them. Or the saves, if you're looking for to post one of them, they're in the same folders. Or when you browse local files, they're right there, too. They'll be under saves. Just different folders in the snapshots. So yeah, if there's any questions or anything like that, but you want to participate, you just don't know how, if that's not quite a good enough explanation, just ask. The comments are down there, and I'll answer you as quick as I can, and hopefully a little uh, better explained, too, if this one isn't good enough. So we'll see how it goes. And also, while you're down there, you know, you could hit that like button, and if you have other comments, you know, those are always great to see, too. And, you know, subscriptions, ding a bell it's always cool. It's getting near the end of the year. I was hoping to have a thousand subscribers by the new year. We're getting really close, but I'm not too worried if we don't actually make it there. I just like to have a goal. But I think we did pretty good. 
So I think the start of the year we're at three or four hundred or something like that, and we got up to eight hundred and seventy-six. I think it was when I looked last. So that's quite a decent jump, I think. I think that's really cool, and I do think it is. It's like a present in itself. So as you can see, the project is coming along. It seems to be working. I got my track figured out for the ramp, so it at least is kind of consistent. But the cart still wants to twist. So we're going to have to do something about that. And the one thing that I've been having issues with is if it goes back down, it loses the guy most of the time. And I think a lot of it is, is that extra little bit of armor I got in there, it's actually making a difference. All right, let's see, you can see it drop down that little bit. So hopefully that'll keep it from hitting into the track as much. And then we'll be able, ah, crap. Now the resource is in the way. <laughs> Oops. That is not handy. So we'll get that out of there. Somehow. I'm going to try and do it without dropping it. But I think I got me an idea. Let's try that. See if that'll pull it back out of the way enough. Ah, it did too, right on. So yeah, there's been a couple times I've tried and this thing will either twist right around going backwards or it'll lose the guy out of it because it jumps and jitters. Or it does both. Or it does something completely else that's crazy and then it flips around and holy crap. So I even had one kind of get spun around and a little shot off off to the side. I kind of wish I had been recording that because it was actually kind of funny. The little dude went for a really wicked ride. <laughs> he didn't know what hit him. But we got back up here. We got a few things figured out. And we're learning things. So, really don't want to knock the whole dang thing apart. But what I want to do is add these a couple more steering thrusters in here. Dang it. Where'd it, would you? And then have it so it can actually be untwisted when it gets twisted on the tracks, if you're on it, like, controlling it. At least have it as an option. But you know, ideally, I would rather have uh, just to be fully, uh, just naturally working right. But, you know, it doesn't, you don't always get them things. Sometimes you gotta fiddle fart around with it, you gotta do your thing, and you just gotta make the best of it. And sometimes you need a little manual intervention to make it work. And if that's what it takes, then so be it. We'll get her done. Yeah, there's a lot of fumbling and juggling around with these armor plates just to get this floor in here, right? So I figured this was the better idea than just having it a flat floor with some railings. Because I even did one like that and it actually bounced them right over the railing. And I didn't want to make the railing too big or too involved. So it was going to be hard to get the, or more involved to get the guy out. More pieces to move and maneuver and stuff. So I figure this way... It's a bit of a ramp, but then it's only one piece of a railing that we're going to end up having to take out. But uh, that's worst case scenario, so hopefully I won't even need the railing. I'm hoping it just works like this with the little dip in the middle. <laughs> we'll put a little dip in the little dip. See, hey, there he is. Hey, that's, oh, dang it, I just call myself a little dip. That ain't great. But another thing I thought is I'll do that up on the top there, and we'll see if we can get rid of a bit more of that twist. And then these here will hopefully keep it leveled out. Because when you got a guy in the in the bucket or in the gondola, it seems to really uh, affect the way the it rides. And not always the way you'd expect. It's kind of different. So here, that looks like it's doing fairly good there. Seems to be acting nice. Yeah. So there, I kind of like that. But yeah, watch this going down. There's where it gets questionable. Do that. Oh, yep. There he goes. Ah, crap, 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 crap. Oh, saved him. Saved his freaking life, eh? Whew. That was close. Can I get back in there? Oh, oh. One more try. One more try. One more try. Oh, I'm stuck. Ow. Oh, ah, I'm stuck. What am I hanging on? Oh, it's my thing. I'm stuck my thing. Dang it. Oh, let me go. Let me go. Woo. But I've never had that happen. That looked freaking awkward. Alright, well let's get see if we can get a railing figured out here. <coughs> Man, that one almost long enough. Yeah, I was kind of thinking of having this, like, symmetrical with the little diamond patterns and all that. But then, I don't know. 
I might still. I kind of like it without, though. I'm not done yet, though, right? We're always changing little things, tinkering and stuff. Like here. We're going to rip these out. It's not needed. Actually, having them that close to the ground is not really any benefit. Like if I was going to put a receiver on it, maybe, but then I'm going to end up picking up whatever's around, and I don't want that. So I figure I'll just have it. So you just put them right on the conveyor. It's the only way to get your resource onto that. It'll be a lot more uh, reliable. Won't be able to take in stuff that is unwanted. So therefore, we should have less problems, I'm hoping. I think this will pretty it up a little bit. I wish we could get little end caps for those uh, angled armor gray GSO pieces. Because seeing the little gray stuff peek out is kind of it's kind of a kick in the junk. It takes away from the look of it. They should just paint that part of armor or make that part of armor. I think that'd be a neat idea. Because these ones we don't necessarily want the gray and the white. That's what we'd use the other blocks for. When we want armor, I think, having those open, they're probably not armored. So if you shoot them spots, that block breaks up before the armor should even break. That's my theory. I don't know if that's how it goes, but that's my theory. But anyway, I figured we got up far enough here. It was a good time for a little bit of a test. So I got right at it. See, so even got reindeer's nose up there. Rudolph leading the way right to where we need to be. Because, yeah, I put the uh, dropper block on there, so I don't really want to ditch my dude. Not yet, anyway. I just had to get him up here so I could try some things. Check on some stuff, make sure it's going to work. So far, it seems to be okay. But at that point, that's the end of that tech. It can't get no bigger or longer, so i got to have this transition to another tech to carry on. So now all the work I've been doing has really been for nothing if I can't get it to transfer to the next tech and that could be interesting because there's a couple ways of thinking that could work but i'm going to try the easiest one just because that makes sense because if it does work then i don't have to waste any extra time or i won't have to waste any time it'll be just like, yeah woo, it worked yeah and then on our way but i don't expect the easiest one to work it just usually doesn't work like that for me Okay, let's get a little bit of something set up. Get that on there. Yeah, so I figure if I can have this catch the cart and hold it, that'll be good. And then from there, I just need to position the other piece of the track in the right vicinity. And then it'll be able to pick it up and then carry it along the path. Uh, that looks real close and like it might not work with the armor plate there. Well, I guess we'll at least get a sign. It looks like it's holding. Or it's gonna, so let's see what it does. Nah, yeah, it caught. Dang it. But that should have fell by now. Yeah, there's no beam between it holding the resource, so they'll hold. So now it's just a matter of getting that smoothly done. So I'll get another piece of track put in place here, get it all set up, and even with this, I gotta kind of still want to ramp up more because I ran at a length instead of height. So we're gonna do a little farting around. We'll get this all dialed in for the height and that, and then we'll give her a little bit of a test that way. And hopefully, it'll all work wonderfully. Wonderfully. Yeah, something like so. Yeah, let's see. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, nice. So smooth. Like the baby of the, bo uh, the bottom of the baby. Right on. Yeah, I'm liking that. Now, if they all go that smoothly, we're going to have some citizens traveling over there in like 90. Well, no, not like 90. Maybe about 45 because we can't go super speed. It really screws with them on the ramps. On the flat tracks, oh yeah, we haven't got that far yet, have we? <laughs> well, the videos haven't got that far. I've worked ahead a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're going to probably have to run this on normal most of the time. But 
we'll time it out. You can pause and we'll have like the group of four each time go along if there is four. We'll keep it reasonable. But I think right around in here is I'm going to get ready to call this one as we turn the corner near the end here. <laughs> Funny. Uh oh, 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 no, 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 no. Fix, fix, fix. So if you did enjoy what you saw, whew, I'm glad you did. Please throw the like down below, some comments, you know, any feedback you have to offer is always appreciated. And if, while you're down there, if you haven't already, that subscribe button, it gets lonely. Touch it up a little bit. That doesn't really ding the bell, but you can ding a bell. You know, that way you'll be notified when I have something new. And don't forget about that Solar Showcase, where your cool and original text could have their very own video. And also, if you'd like to help out the little channel and possibly get in on or get in on a draw and possibly be named a winner of a 3D printed tech, this is going to happen early next year. I'm just getting the word out there, so if you want to participate, you can. All you have to do is find my or PayPal.me link down in the bottom, send in a small two dollar donation, and that'll get your name entered into the draw. Unfortunately, I, yeah, I got to do it that way because, well, still working on getting bigger and better. So if you're interested and want to participate, it's all down in the description. So until next time, everybody, keep being the awesome, keep having a good one. Bye.